Hi everyone, just going to do a video on what I do with my strawberries. Um, I should have done it a little while ago, but there's no real time. I've never really looked into it, it's just the way I've always done them. And it works okay for me, I don't know if it's the right way or wrong way, but it's not let me down yet. So uh, we'll have a look on uh, how to deadhead them. Right, so here we have a strawberry crown. It's had a, a year of fruit. Shame the wasps enjoyed a lot of them. Um, so you could leave them and do them next year, but it's just to try and train them a little bit with the way I do it. It just makes it easier to cope with them. Otherwise, they can spread all over the place and it's a bit of a nightmare. So it looks brutal, but an established crown, like I've always said, if you're buying new plants, don't let them fruit or produce runners in the first year. Keep nipping the flowers and runners off and you'll go for a bigger crown. It'll end up going from a single tiny little stem to a big ring. Um, and then you can go for there for the next five, six years. I think these are probably, I don't know, they're, they're a good few years old now these. Um, they, they handled the transplant from my old allotment to here last year. Uh, I didn't bring them all, I only brought 20 with me. Um, but they're a very good variety. I don't know what variety they are. I've taken some runners off this year, which will go in end of next year, because I think these will be at the end of the life next year. So, uh, right, let's get D heading. Right, so think of a crown, you know, this, this plant like a woodland. You need to get rid of the top canopy to allow light to the lower shoots to come up. It looks brutal, but just get a leaf, reach down, pinch it off. Keep doing that until you see the sort of uh, the forest floor, let's call it. And I've been doing this for a couple of hours now, and these are my last two crowns. A bit cold, a bit sick of doing it to be honest, but I thought I might as well video it because uh, it works well for me. Look at that, there's a potato in there. Now I kind of mulch these with straw earlier on in the year because the amount of weight of the fruit on them to, to lift it up because it produce a hell of a lot of fruit. So I can't, I can't, I know I had, I had two varieties, I know one was Cambridge favourite, I got rid of them because they were quite a small strawberry and these produce quite big ones, really, really red and sweet. So, anyway, you can start seeing now, you can start seeing down to the plants, a lot of spindly ones, get rid of the spindly ones, too much life going in the stem. It looks uh, looks brutal. Don't worry about it. The strawberries will keep growing even right now when it's near up December. You know the plant will reproduce. I say don't do this if it's a first year crown. Go mad on it. Once it's an established crown, you're all right. Because they're, they're pretty hardy. You know if anyone's ever grown strawberries before, if you wanted to get rid of that patch of strawberries. It takes a long time because they just keep coming back right down there. This is all, all this brown stuff is all dead stems. You don't have to get every one out, but just try and thin it out a bit because it's it's only blanketing everything else. And you'll uh, all these little leaves at the bottom. You leave them, and they will be. Well, they will sort of absorb any light and kickstart it to uh, produce more foliage. I will be removing this straw in the spring and putting some fresh stuff in, but for now, um, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> there is a lot of slugs under it, 
so but I don't want to remove it because it does keep the chill off you know these uh, young tender shoots Right, so you've got a cleared area there. So what you do now is gather the straw around, make it a bit like a bird's nest. And wherever you allow, oh, this is what you've got to watch out for, a little collection of slug eggs. Yeah, so you've got to try and make it like a bird's nest shape. What will happen? Is all the shoots will start to fill this area and you'll have a, nut, a nice little compact plant rather than it growing all over the place so right, we'll do this next one I'll try and be really brutal with this one and uh, get a big crown right at the end this so you know for one plant it's uh, pretty big same again get it at the top Start ploughing your way through so you can see more of it. You'd be here forever in a day if you're doing taking just the dead leaves off, you'd be leaving a lot of dead stems that will just rot. You know, and uh, you want to try and get rid of anything that's dead or going bad because it can you know, encourage disease and things. Uh, don't think I fed these last year at all. I think all I did when I first dug this bed, it's only 12 inch wide, about 20 foot long bed. I just put some uh, grow more fertilizer in it and some uh, manure. So it's just one of them jobs that, you know, has to be done and sometimes do it again in February you know if you have a mild winter you know you can end up with a, a lot of foliage and you want to try and uh, keep it dense so then your fruit trusses will sort of reach out of it which makes it a little bit hard, easier to harvest They're not hard to grow, you don't have to mulch them, you can grow through membrane, it's any old way, I mean, people grow them in pots, I have some in pots at home, I can move them about, you know, so they're really, really hard, I mean, if you've got any kids, they're a great plant for the, for the kids, really, I mean, you'll have to do this bit for, for kids, like, because uh, they'll be wrapped up in the snub warm, you are outside freezing your butt off sorting all this out it's one of the light sort of lightweight jobs it's on par with weeding and to be honest I hate weeding a lot so this is a, a big crown right at the end of this takes a while to reveal the forest floor, should we say. You just you just can't see what you're doing when you've got all the top foliage in the way. You can take your time, you can do this over a few visits. But one of them people that uh, when you get chance, no matter what the weather, it's a window of opportunity, I've got to take it. Because as we say, what's not done today, needs to be done tomorrow. And so on and so on, until uh, you get so bogged down that you come to your plot and you think, why do I bother? And that's where a lot of people make a mistake. So you just uh, 
just have to do what needs to be done. You now grow a lot of strawberry plants, you don't have to. Well, um, I've got another 17 behind the camera, which are a different variety, I think they're called Maxine, them ones. I'm only trying them out because they're supposed to be a really, real giant strawberry. Now you can start seeing the shape of the crown here, you can see the, the ring to that is a big plant. You know, considering when you buy one plant it looks just like, like that little bit there. You know, and uh, you don't have to do much with them really. Like I say, you know, don't let them fruit first year. You know, produce runners, keep them pinched off. When they when they go into season, they'll be chucking runners and flowers out for fun. So you need to be on them like and uh, keep on top of them. And then uh, once you come to do this part, it's not as bad to do on first year plants. Um, you'll notice the crown is like quadrupled in size. So you've got a healthy big root system and a big plant. Will, uh, give you a, a heck of a lot of fruit. And that's about all I can really be bothered doing with that one. So you can see all these all these fresh shoots. Now the light can get into them. They'll all thicken up. So I'll stay again with that. Like that. That's a runner. When you buy a, a strawberry plant, it'll just uh, Look like that. You just shove it in the ground and uh, that's how it all starts. So we'll stand again. A little uh, like bird nest sort of shape around it. And the greenery will head for the light which is obviously this hole here, so then it was a nice little compact head a bit like a cauliflower so that's how I uh, do my strawberries so as you can see, this is the, the row behind me if you look on some of my earlier videos you'll see them when they're in you know, full swing um, right, well thanks for watching and I will uh, see you in the next video take care, bye